the national team of Chinese state-backed investors poured $17 billion into index tracking funds in the month of Jan 2024, S&P Global Market Intelligence found. Hang Seng Index rebounded by more than 10% in less than four days from Jan 2024 low. Questions to all of you, has the Hang Seng Index finally reversed? Is Chinese stock market seeing some light finally and getting out of what we call as the ICU? Are there any trading opportunities here? Now, this is the crux of what I'm going to discuss today. And this video is probably sponsored by Macquarie. Switching to the daily chart, it's not difficult to find that price is still in this downtrend with a very definable lower high and a lower low. But one thing I want to bring out is that price at this moment is departing from the previous low. It's making this higher low pattern. Now, as you know of any reversal pattern, there is a need to close above the previous high that's in between the two low. And this is the reason why recently Hang Seng uh, with the curb of short selling as well as a rumor of the national team coming in, it is still being resisted by this level here that's around 16,200. Hence, 16,200 is the near-term resistance. Now, let's assume that the price is going to move above uh, 16,200 and go higher. The next resistance resides at 17,100. So, these would be the two key levels you want to take note of for Hang Seng. But one thing I want to also show historically, the the fact that if price can make a higher high, that means that if this was a high point here, and then if price can move towards a 17,100, this means that price would have made a higher high as compared to the previous high, then this is actually a good sign for Hang Seng. Now, so let's take a look at what happened previously. Now, this was that uh, movement during uh, August, September, October 2022, Hang Seng had a downward movement here. But what happened during that reversal period when Hang Seng reversed upwards from 14,600 all the way near to 22,500 was that we saw a higher low being made. Now, what is the meaning of this higher low and the reversal pattern here? So this was a series of a lower highs and as well as a lower low. But at this point here, if you look at this low point and compare that to the another one more low point so this low point was a higher low and what price did is to break the high between uh, the two lows okay and that led to the reversal of Hang Seng from about 15,000 all the way to 22,500 hence there is a need to look up for this first high a higher high being made so let me just repeat this right we need to see a higher high being made versus the previous high and we also need to see a higher low and ultimately for price to break above the higher high so let's go back to the current pattern right now now this is the current pattern we have a low here and then we have a higher low and we have a high here okay but this high wasn't higher than the previous high right because this was a high and then this was still a lower high so what i'm waiting for is for price to go higher so that price can ultimately make a higher high in comparison to the previous high and eventually for this higher height level to be broken, and that's about 17,100 level here. Now, in terms of short-term trading, this makes Hang Seng very interesting because then we do have a very nicely defined short-term trading range, and that's from 16,200 to 17,100. And what kind of instruments can you use for this short-term trading? Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? Going to MacquarieWarrens.com.sg's page under the Warren Tools, choose the Warren Selector, and that's where you come to this page here, and then choose the underlying, that's HSI, for some short-term bullish movement, then choose the Core Warrens. If investors are bearish about uh, Hang Seng, then choose the Put Warrens. Let's head to the Hang Seng charts. We're going to see how to apply the Core and the Put Warrens. Put Warrens can be used if this area is denoted as a supply region, as a resistant region, then if it investors think that price is going to head down from this level here, then they can put in a put warrant. I'm just going to write a P here. Now, if price should move above this resistance levels, that means a resistance levels had been broken, then investors 
can consider a call warrant because they think that in the future price might continue to head up. Now in this case here, uh, if this is going to provide a resistance levels, then investors can in turn consider a put warrant. Earlier part, I mentioned that Hang Seng is still in a downtrend and what are the signs to look out for if there should be a bullish reversal and the use of short-term trading instruments like warrants. Trading into any form of instruments is high risk for investors that you should be noting on the risk of trading. Well, I'll come to the end of my video and if you like, please remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button and do let me know what other indexes you want me to cover and I'll be happy to do that. Alright, I'll see you in my next video.